wanted to do my adoption video because I am adopted. Um, I'm not really sure where to start, so I'm just going to kind of ramble on. And, um, by the way, if you're watching this video just to make fun of me and, like, haha, you're adopted, you know, say that kind of mean stuff, then I would just say, um, exit out of this video because there's actually some people that really want to hear this story and, um, are going to be a little bit more mature about it and not make fun of me just because I'm adopted. I was adopted at four months old. I was born in a very, very small town in Russia, um, I guess very close to China. And, uh, I was four months old, like I just said, and my mom, I don't know anything really about her, but my mom was, I guess, really young, and uh, whenever she had me, she realized that it was going to be very difficult for her to take care of me with all my surgeries. Like, I've had 12 surgeries ever since I was, um, eight months old, so it's like, thinking that she, being so young, could afford all them. Uh, it's very, you know, I feel like, I'm very proud of her, to be honest, like, for her giving, you know, her baby up, you know, to have a better life. And being adopted has been very hard on me. I, I was adopted by two American, wonderful, awesome, perfect parents. Um, they took me under their wing and gave me that better life that my mom wanted me to have. Uh, my very first surgery was when I was eight months old, and it was my cleft lip repair, and that was this one, the one that I, um, of course, get made fun of the most, because it's the one that pops out the most. Um, and, uh, my parents told me, or my bio, my, uh, parents that I have right now told me that, um, they weren't gonna, like, keep the adoption from me, you know, because... I've watched a lot of movies. I'm like a movie fanatic. I love movies. And a lot of people on movies, I mean, I'm not judging anything like what people say on the movies because I know it's not real. But I've watched a lot of movies and parents tend to hide their adoption from their kids. Like, you were adopted. Oh my god, like they're not going to tell them until they're 18 or something like that. But my parents like didn't want to do that because why would they want to lie to me? You know, so they told me I was adopted when I started asking questions. Because my parents both have blue eyes, and I have green eyes. So I, of course, was going to ask, ask questions like, Mommy, Daddy, why do I look so different from you? Why do I have this scar on my face? Why are my eyes green and your eyes blue? Why is my hair brown and your hair blonde? You know, like, why is this? Why is this? So they thought that, you know, they would tell me the truth and tell me that I was adopted and I like took it so well they told me uh, I was I think I was like five years old when I started asking about it like why do I look so different because like I would look at kids I guess in kindergarten and they look so much like their parents or something I don't even know but I realized it at such a young age that I was different from my parents and I asked questions and they were very honest with me and I cherished that I was really happy when I I found out because being adopted has definitely changed my life um it's made me a better person. It's like, I don't know, it's so different. But um, a lot of people tend to, some people tend to make fun of people who are adopted. Um, like I said on movies, like if you have a brother or sister, people will make fun of you and be like, haha, you're adopted. Like you don't even belong to this family because you're adopted. Like you don't, you're really lame. So we're going to say you're adopted. I honestly never got those jokes. I was um, faced with them at a young age when I watched movies and people would make fun of them, their brother or sister being adopted because they were angry at them. And uh, I never really understood them. I honestly never got it. I don't know why, but I just never understood it. And uh, I don't like adoption jokes. I think they're so stupid and immature. I mean, my mom was so mature, I thought, uh, for giving me up and wanting me to have a better life because she had me, um, she, of course, when this whole thing happened, she didn't know that I was going to be born with a substantial birth defect. She didn't know that. And so for her to give me up and put me in to an adoption facility and hope and pray that I would have a better life, it's just so much, so much, so mature. I, I really thank her for that. I, like, people ask me all the time, would you want to meet your mom? Would you want to meet your mom? Honestly, one, she knows, I'm pretty sure she only knows Russian, and I don't know Russian at all. I know, like, Privyet, Kogdila, like, Harasho, Suka. <laughs> it's 
that's pretty much all I know. <laughs> so I would have to, of course, bring a friend. Um, probably my friend Farah would probably bring her because she's been really interested in my life. Hi Farah, if you're watching. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I. Um, but if I did get the chance to meet her, of course I would want to meet her and see what she looked like. You know, see what features I, you know, took of hers. You know, um, and of course I. I don't know anything about my dad, but I mean that's not a big deal to me. I mean, I like consider my dad the you know the one that's been for me the last 18 years like my real dad I mean like I don't even think twice about it I'm just like dad come here like I don't even some, I sometimes even forget that I'm adopted because my family <laughs> none of us are blood related but we have so much in common like our body types oh my god <laughs> I just laugh about it thinking about my family because <laughs> we have so much in common <laughs> Like, our sense of humor, our, like, lower half of our body, it's, like, so similar. <laughs> but I'm proud to be adopted, and I think anyone who else is adopted out there should be proud of being adopted. It's important to, like, be proud of what you've been, you know, faced with. I mean, why be, why be so down? Like, oh my gosh, I'm adopted. My mom gave me up. She hated me. She didn't want me. That's not true. She did not want you. She loved you for nine months. She took care of you for nine months. She even went through all the pain to give birth. She definitely loves you, but she just, you know, took the time to think about, am I like financially stable right now? Am I gonna be able to care for this child, love for this child, however he or she needs to be cared for? You know, and there's so many questions that need to come in to, you know, real life when wanting to have a child or putting your child up for adoption. And I think um, parents who do give their child up for adoption at, at a young age are very mature and they're making a huge decision. And I think they should be praised for that, not um, punished or you know looked down upon. So um, anyone else who is adopted out there, um, let's be friends. <laughs> let's be adoption, adopted buddy friends, you know? Uh, I guess that was like my little adoption story and uh, how I feel about being adopted and how I feel about others being adopted. Um, tell me if you guys like this kind of video, uh, and if you don't, then I guess I'll delete it whenever I want to. But thank you guys so much for watching who who have uh, come across this video. Comment below and tell me what you think, and tell me if you know anyone, or you know, uh, if you know anyone who's been adopted, or you are adopted yourself, and how you take all, like, either bullying or being made fun of, or praise or whatever. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.